Creating and managing social media takes time and creating great social media content while making sure that your content delivers the highest ROI takes even more time. But the good news is with the right tools, you can save a bunch of time, create epic piece of content in minutes and ultimately making your life as a social media manager much easier. Whether you're looking for content inspirations or you're looking to create awesome infographics or you're looking to track hashtags for your social media strategies or anything else in between, I'm gonna show you a few tools that you can use to really improve your social media marketing efforts. The first step of content creation for social media is of course finding content ideas. The tool that I use to find content inspirations for my client is a website called Answer the Public. Um, so it's a free visual tools that extract queries from Google and present them in the categorized keyword cloud. Let me show you how it works. So for example, if you type in the keyword Instagram, let's say, into the search bar and click the get questions button, okay, then the website will give you all possible content ideas in visual formats. So first, you will see a wheel of keywords related to your topic. Then they're organized into five categories, such as questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals, and related. So as you can see, answer the public can really give you hundreds of valid content ideas from typing in just one or two main keywords. Answer the public is not the only tool that I use to find content ideas. In fact, there are a whole list of websites and tools that I use to help me find content ideas, which I talk about in my previous video right here if you guys are interested in learning more about them. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. You know, try them out because I promise you, you will see a difference if you're ever facing a writer blog so you need some fresh injections of content ideas. Sometimes posting pictures alone on social media is simply not enough to attract and convert your audience. So it's really important to create content that stands out, whether it means sometimes you have to create infographics or you have to make memes on Instagram or you have to create video content. Whatever that is, lucky you that you're watching this video because I'm gonna show you a few tools that can help you do just that. The first design tool that I want to recommend to you guys is called Canva. I believe a lot of you guys already heard of Canva and the reason why it's so popular is because it offers hundreds of templates, images, and illustration assets, and the dozens of font and text styling. Canva makes it super easy to create unique, high-quality image that are just so good for sharing on social media or even your blogs. So once you've chosen your templates or layout, you can use the resource library to drag and drop different elements of your preference. You can add or edit text and adjust core settings like font, um, color, image filters, opacity to make your graphics. Another really cool design tool that I want to introduce to you guys is called Animaker. So Animaker is a tool for creating really cool animation videos and it does it so exceptionally well. You guys have to try this out. You can make all kinds of animated videos like whiteboards, vertical infographic, presentation, you name it. This tool has the largest collections of animated characters, properties, BGs, icons, charts, and maps for you to use. For those of you who want to make Gift. I want to recommend to you guys egift.com. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce this. So all you have to do is to upload a series of image and the tools will make a GIF out of them. You can then change the size to adjust the order and play with animation setting to make sure that it's perfect for you. Once a while, you might find yourself in a situation which you have to use stock images for your social media, especially when you're not giving any creative assets by your clients. By stock photos, I'm not talking about those really cheesy ones of people in suits shaking their hands. No, I want you to stay away from it because they look super awkward and it's just they're just not good. Um, but instead, I wanted to show you guys a few websites that offer beautiful photos but without looking really cheesy. And the best part is, they're for free. The first one is called Pexo. Um, what I love about this website is that it provides high quality and completely free stock photos. All photos are nicely tagged, searchable, and you can easily filter the pictures through orientation, size, and color. Another website that I want to recommend is called Unsplash. Um, again, it offers a large collection of free high resolution photos because their team really comes through new submissions and features the very best photos on their homepage. And all photos are released for free under the Unsplash license. 
it's totally okay to use stock photos as long as you know they're not looking like stock photos because there's nothing more awkward than stumbling upon an image that feels awkward, right? So there are a few things that you have to understand when you decided to use stock photos. And number one is that they are relevant to the content that you're posting. And secondly, is that they need to be consistent with your branding. And the third thing is that they need to be unique enough to catch attention. One of the secret weapons that every social media manager should have is a scheduling tool. A tool that allows you to manage your social media accounts on autopilot. With the right scheduling tool, you can save a ton of time and produce a balanced mix of content across all social networks to engage with your audience at the right time. So the tool that I want to recommend to you guys is called Buffer. It has both a website and a mobile app that allows you to schedule content to Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and LinkedIn from just one dashboard. Buffer allows you to create a preset publishing schedule for each social account. So content always get published at the most optimal time for each social channel. Because again, it's very important for the post to be seen at the right time so that they get the most reach. Also, you can tailor your content for each network, so you can customize the tone, the emojis, the hashtags to fit each one. All of the scheduled content are added to your calendar so you can see at a glance what's lined up for each social network. If you're just starting out, I highly recommend you guys to give Buffer a try. Their interface is super easy and simple to navigate, but don't just take my words for it. A lot of big companies like Spotify and Shopify are also using Buffer to schedule content. Being a social media manager is not about just posting beautiful pictures on Instagram. That's not enough. That's why it's essential to invest in social media analytic tools that can help you keep tap on the progress of your marketing strategies. You might be thinking, well, Joanna, I can just use the free Instagram insight tool to look at, you know, what day and the time I should post on Instagram, or you can look at what hashtag or like how many followers I've gained over a week. Well, yeah, that feature is cool, but it's for free and it's very limiting. And as a social media manager, Manager, it's very likely that you'll be handling not just an Instagram page but also a Facebook page and also Pinterest or LinkedIn or Twitter there's so many platforms that you're handling all at once for your clients so it's very important to find a platform that gives you all of the analytics all at once under one dashboard one of the best analytic tools that I found on the market for cross-channel social media analytics is called Sprout Social what I love about this tool is that you can quickly organize and share your data with presentation ready reports, which comes with both templated and customizable report options, meaning you have multiple ways to not only gather essential social metrics, but truly understand what they mean and present them to your clients. Sprout Social also has a feature called Advanced Listening Tool, which arms you with valuable data related to audience demographics, industry influence, campaign performance, share voice, and consumer sentiment. So yeah, it doesn't matter what your social media analysis and reporting needs, Sprout Social can give you a fast, user-friendly way to discover and display social insights. All right, guys, I hope this video can give you some insight into the tools that you can use to effectively create and manage social media content for yourself and for your clients. So what's your favorite social media tool? And if you know some other tools that you wanted to recommend, make sure to leave a comment down below in my video so that everyone who's watching this video right now can learn something new. Anyways, while you're waiting for my next videos, I always post videos about social media marketing and digital nomad lifestyle. So if that's your cup of tea, make sure to check out these two videos right there as well. And I'll see See you guys in my next one.